Hello and welcome to a simple demonstration of how to import objects into FPS Creator. Um, I'm going to be using Blender, uh, that's the uh, 3D package that I use and you can see I'm up at a standard scene as you would get if you'd first opened up Blender and you haven't altered any preferences or anything like that, it'll just work for me as standard. As you can see a little box here, now I'm not going to design anything special for this, we're just going to have the box, maybe something else perhaps. Um, but I'll show you a few basics. You can see this plane in the middle, this grid, that's the center of the object. If you exported this object now when imported it into FPS Creator, it would be sunk through the floor because it basically it takes that point there, this point here, as the offset point of the object. So if you want the object to be sitting on the floor, you've got to move that object up to the floor. Now you can just click these arrows and drag up and down, no problem. Um, or, which is probably better in general, you can click on this little plus sign here, bring up the transform menu or whatever menu it is, but I'll call it the transform menu. Uh, and basically you can um, alter the position here. So you've got the location, Z, that's the Z, strangely enough. Um, I always think of the Z as going into the plane, but 3D packages always work it slightly differently. So that's the Z going up, so you want to change it on the Z. And the easy way to do it is to look at the size, the dimension, so it's set as 2 at the moment on the Z. So basically if we go to that and we just put in 1, plop, it's on top. Perfectly. Now, admittedly, the scale of this object, when you load it into FPS Creator, will be tiny. Um, but what I always do is I just design the object as I want um, using the grid for sort of reference of you know, size and things like that if you want. You can also change to metric, um, change the actual grid preferences. But I'm not going into an explanation of how to use Blender, just how to export this object um, into FPS Creator. So you can see it's all ready. Now texture, I'm not worried about that at the moment. Again, I'm not showing you that, I'm just showing you how you'll get an object in. So what you'll do is you'll need to export that object as a DirectX. Now if you I believe um you have to set this up, it's been a while since I did it, you have to just tell it what to to load in the DirectX plugin. Um which if you look on YouTube you'll find lots of things about how to do that. I'm not gonna go into that. So we'll go into DirectX. Um and I always save mine into this folder, but I'm going to do just for speed, or well, not for speed, just to make sure it's the right thing. Go into my um, beta file, uh, go to entities, if I can ever see it. There we go. And user, you don't have to use user, but I always just put anything I've designed into the user folder just to keep it neater. And I've made a directory already. Uh, if I can see it, object import. Well, there's nothing in there. We're going to call this. Well, it's a box, so we we'll call it box. Dot x. Export that. Right, that's it. We, we're done. We're done in Blender for now. Um, you know, if that's all you want to do, that's that's done. It's ready. All you need to do is just a little bit of quick file messing around with, and you've got it ready for FPS Creator. So I'll close Blender and we'll carry on from there. Right, here we go. Here's my object import folder that I made in the entity banks and user file. Or folders I should say. Um, and you can see inside there we've got box.x. Now we need a lot more than that. The easiest way, generally, to get an object is to just use an object that's, that works already. Um, obviously a proper object that, that's already got an FPE file that you can use. So I'm just going to grab something, I'll grab it out of my um, R4D5 I've been working with of late. Um, right, so we need, uh, ignore all this, lot. it'll make a lot of this stuff for you. Basically, just the FPE file, if I can actually see it, there we go. So if I copy that, go back to my import directory and paste that in. Now we've got an FPE file for box, but obviously we need to rename that a box, it has to be the same name. If it's not the same name, you will have issues with it just loading up as a little 
little dot or something instead of the object. Um, so if we go into box, you can use Notepad or use FPI Edit Pad, um, which you can download from Gang Creator's site, I believe. It's one of the tools that are around for it. Um, now, none of this is strictly that important, but uh, I'm just going to change the description to box. Um, now texture. So just get rid of that. No texture at all, we don't need one. Um, I'll leave those, they're all five. Just make sure we have the model typed in here, box.x. Uh, I think that's pretty much it. Um, scale makes a difference. You need to put a scale in if you haven't scaled it in Blender. I'll leave it at 1200, that should be pretty big, hopefully. And we'll save that. So we've got an FPE and the X file. Now texture. We could add a texture if we wanted, um, but we'll just do it without a texture for now. We'll just get a black thing, I believe. So I'll just run FPS Creator. Okay. So when you're in FPS Creator, add a new entity. Let's get a user. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Object import. Let me see. I haven't put a, a, an image on either, which again. You can do, you just need a 64 by 64 BMP image. It's got to be white uh, with a picture of your thing on. Uh, and that'll put it then there so you can see what it is. And there you go, we've got a box. Plop it down, zoom in a bit. Uh, do, do. There we go, and it's in. It's got no texture, it's black as black can be, but it's in. Obviously, if you want a texture on it, you'd have to UV map the box or just add a texture. I'm sure that would just work as standard for this. I will add a texture before the end of this. There you go. In we go. Working fine. Right now, I'll do a texture. Okay, I'm going to use Blender just to do a basic texture. Um, go to Pattern Fill. Uh, ooh, what do we want? mud. There we go, that'll do. So we'll save that. Or export it I should say. Um, box. And I'm going to call it yeah, we're going to save it as a DDS. Um, box D. I'll just, I'm just used to doing that because it's just the way it works when you want to use shaders and things like that. So export that. Uh, oh, well done. Cancel. Export to the right place. Mm. Into users. Where's. Where is it? Object import. There we go. Uh, box D. Dot DDS. Export. Generate mip maps, what good they are in this case. Right, and there we go. We've got our box. We've got a nice texture for it. We need to edit the FPE file, remember, and put the texture in. It's called box D dot DDS. Save that. Close it off. Um, you'll see it's made box a bin file, well, it says VLC, but it's a bin file, um, and a DBL. It always makes those, delete those, that way it'll look at that and it'll go, oh, it's, it's, it's not made it, and it'll recreate it with this texture. That's the general idea. So, back into FPS Creator. Okay, we're back in. I've reloaded it because you need to reload FPS Creator for it to rebuild the models. As far as I'm aware, I could be wrong on that, but it never normally works if you don't do that. I think it always checks at the start. So back into user, uh, object import, box. Okay. Hey, we have a box with a texture. Okay, it's hardly brilliant, but it's done and it's in. There we go. 
can't really make out any detail on it, whoops at all but I'm not surprised, it's not UV mapped or anything, I've just basically put a texture in and stuck it on but obviously the colour wouldn't have changed if it wasn't there so yeah, that's basically how you can get your own objects into FPS Creator um, obviously they're not great objects but um, you know you might have some really nice objects you want to do and you just can't get it to work so I hope that helps until next time I'll catch you later